Well, I got to show you what I got here. Yeah, I know. It doesn't look like much, but there's a lot there, believe it or not. I was uh, working on these encoder parts. This is going to mount on the rotary portion on top. This is that piece I was making to go through the belts. And this is going to sit above the above the uh, pulleys. And I just soldered them. Just soldered that piece on there. That chip card. And uh, I just fit it into this piece. Got some long leads on it. I was doing a little, a little soldering this morning. And uh, I ordered ordered two of these. I mentioned that before from this uh, company that uh, I think I, I mentioned it before. I ordered it from this uh, this company, and they uh, the drivers already preloaded on it and everything, and. Uh, I put a program in there and it was fast. I mean, I didn't, it, it recognized it right away, the computer, and uh, I didn't have to do anything to it. And I'm not pushing their website or anything, eBay, but, uh, you know, they're, they're, the price is equal to everybody else. So I bought two of them. I only needed one. And it was fast, it loaded quick, and everything worked great. You know, I'm, I'm good for everything working great the first time. So anyway, we're working on these encoders. This is the one for the top. And then i got to have one for the side. Now this is the same type of setup that's on the spin indexer with the, with the little, uh, little display with the big numbers and what have you. And uh, I was on YouTube... And I was looking at something, and I come across this guy. This uh, UPIR. And uh, this is the name of his video. This is like the second or third one of this video. And he keeps upgrading it. And what he's talking about is he has this display and he has a uh, potentiometer now I got mine mounted on this this white piece here which is gonna go into this piece which is gonna mount on the side of the machine and it's gonna give me a as, a, as the piece rotates it's going to read the angle so I know what the angle is from 0 to 90 I can read that angle. You've got to know that angle so you can tip it to the angle you want for doing your work. So you know I thought about putting uh, you know two of these encoders on there you know one on the top and then one on the side so I saw this other, this other uh, encoder type thing. So, well, it's not really, yeah, it's not really an encoder because it uses a potentiometer. It doesn't use actually any encoders at all. It uses this uh, potentiometer, and I thought, well, you know, this this looks really neat. You know, I I think I'll give it a shot. So this is like the. Like I said, the third one, he did one, then another one, then he upgraded it to this one. And uh, what he's got is he, it's basically a scale. It doesn't read, he's got numbers, but it reads a scale. I, I think I mentioned this before. It's got like, uh, you know, it goes from like zero to 100 degrees or something, and He's got all these little points. 
and he's got a little uh, little box up here that that reads the numbers of the degrees and it's and it also shows you like a little speedometer type thing going on here or a gauge type thing and I I thought hey, that's pretty cool you know it's different and uh, that'd be neat so I ordered the stuff and uh, you know it was just a Arduino and uh, a little display and a potentiometer and that's basically it so I don't know what the potentiometer was I think it was like seven or eight bucks or something like that and the Arduino they're like nine bucks or something and uh, the screen I don't know what it was like seven or something whatever it was so anyway I got the stuff in and uh, I, the other axle I drilled a hole in there and I put a set screw in it to mount the potentiometer on it and then I was going to have, uh, well, let me put you up here. Well, I have the, uh, the axles mounted over here, actually. It's mounted in this side rail. Got the hole there. Got the little set screw right there. And the potentiometer goes in there, and then this uh, this cover piece goes here, and all the parts go inside of it. And I got a a hole on the side for the uh, wires to come out, and it's a also access hole to tighten that set screw right there. So I would I drill these two holes here, tap them, and that's just going to mount on there. And uh, you know I, I figure well, if this setup didn't work, I can always adapt it to this other setup. It's not a big deal because I wasn't sure if this was going to work. But um, I just tried it out this morning. And this is the wiring diagram for it. The uh, potentiometer, one side is ground, one side's positive. It really doesn't matter which side. You can you could change them. It doesn't matter. You got your signal wire, and the the uh, the diagram he had. Now this is the only mistake I made. The diagram he had was for this uh, this new updated one. He changed something in there and made it faster. Because when it gets who he rotates the knob, he doesn't want any lag on it. But, um, you know, I'm not really looking for speed. I'm just looking for position. But the uh, this uh, screen was supposed to be... Uh, they got two kind of connections. They got the, uh, the SPI and the... Uh, 12C or something. One's got like eight connections on it. The other one's got like four. And he was talking about the one with the like the eight eight connections on it. I guess the wires feed in there and it's faster or something. But but anyway, he was talking about a a yellow piece on the top and a blue piece on the bottom. I guess you can you buy these screens different colors. So I went. He, he gave a list of all the places you can go to buy these the parts. And for some reason I went to eBay and I bought a screen, a two color screen. But I bought the, uh, what is it, the, the one with the four pin connection instead of the eight pin connection. And his wiring diagram shows basically the eight pin connection. And... Uh, but I thought, well, you know, I got, I got this one, and I guess there's only one way to find out if it works. 
is I'll plug it in and see if it works. Because the connections that he kind of showed were real simple. I mean, it was so simple, you would hard hard to think that it would even work. But I downloaded this program into the, uh, the Uno, and that went in there with no problems. So I wired this up with the breadboard, and uh, I wired up the... I put a little little knob on here because the little quarter inch diameter knob is kind of hard to turn so I I found a piece of stock and I just put a little threaded hole in there and put a set screw in there so I could use it as a knob to rotate I wasn't going to buy a, a fancy knob because I'm going to stick it on the end of this axle that was the original plan and if it didn't work it didn't work you know but uh, I tell you the thing works good the only downside is that the the picture he shows on his uh, YouTube channel is huge. Things like that big. But when you turn this on, it's like that big, you know. So I guess you just gotta put a you gotta put a magnifying glass in front of it. But it, it looks really cool. So we're gonna sacrifice the uh, how big it is for how cool it looks. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug it in so you can see it. Can you see it? Need a little help there? Well, it's a two color screen. I got the uh, yellow on top and the blue on the bottom. Now rotate this. But it uh, looks really nice. Of course, you're not going to use 100 degrees. We'll just go 90. But I thought it looks uh, looks pretty good. It's really simple. All you got is the the screen. Of course, I didn't take the the protective part off the screen either. I still got that that little label on there. It'll probably be a lot clearer once you take that protective uh, layer off of it. <laughs> 